So for my sister's beer salmon, it's so simple to make. You literally just start with a salmon filet right from the grocery store, nothing fancy. And you are gonna lay this down on just a piece of aluminum foil. And you're gonna create your baking sheet out of this aluminum foil. I want you to put the sides up to create a little bit of a pan here because when you pour the beer on, you don't want it to slide off. So just like that. Put just some quick garlic salt on here. Then you're gonna put a little bit, just a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of sweetness here. Then I want you to take tiny pieces of butter and lay that on. It's a nice alternative if you have guests that are coming over instead of always doing the meat to give them an option with a fish. Then just some onion rings, very thin slices. Now, fold this up and for the best part, the beer. My sister, I was a little bit surprised with this recipe, especially for the beer, but my sister says, you know what, it steams up just a little bit, gives it some perfect flavoring, which I found to be true, and everybody always goes crazy for it. So wrap this, bring in your sides. It's gonna foam a little bit and that's just fine. And then put it together and pop this onto the grill. And you're looking at maybe five, seven minutes on the grill, and that's it. Now for the perfect idea for kids, my sister also has three kids and this is Scotty, her son's idea. He loves hamburgers and he loves hot dogs. So his invention is hamburger dogs. And all you do to make those is just some ground meat from the grocery store and grab just any old good meatloaf seasoning and take it and pour it right over the meat and a little bit of ketchup, just a tablespoon or two always a favorite with the kids. And then, I'm gonna take an egg so everything sticks together. And a quarter cup of just breadcrumbs. Now, like with your meatloaf, you're gonna get your hands in here. And just combine all that together. See why this is great for the kids to help you with? And the best part about that is when you get the kids involved in the kitchen, you can be guaranteed whatever they make, they're gonna eat. And sometimes it's hard to get the little ones to eat everything you want them to, so get them involved. Now, to make the hot dog, simply take just a handful of your meat mixture and start to roll it together so it sticks. And once you have something that looks like a meatball, you're gonna turn it into a roll. You can do this on the counter, you can do it in between your fingers. They should be right around six inches. And we'll just put them right on the plate and keep making them. Now I think my salmon is just about done. I'm gonna put these into the grill, right on the grill. Let's see. Oh, they sound great. And while those are cooking up, we are gonna take off the salmon. Okay, put this down. Watch this, this is magic. And before we eat this, I have to tell you, Kimmy, honey, thank you, Scotty, Honey, thank you, that was a great recipe. Look, perfect, perfect. Have to taste this. Look at how wonderful that is. That is just fantastic. Mm. Mm, this is delicious. Good job, Kimmy. Thank you so much for the recipe. We're gonna let our hamburger dogs cook for just a little while, but when we come back, we'll be in the kitchen. We're gonna make chocolate buttermilk pie. It's fantastic and you're gonna love it. Nice and hot off the grill. These are gonna be so yummy. Mm. Okay.